I'm grateful. Thank you so much. I'm grateful to be back. We are open at Tunisia Kabeha and uh, the whole UNISA is open. We are busy also working in the student counseling uh, unit. Colleagues, we know that, and friends, students, we know that previous year we had quite a lot of mental health issues that came up uh, during uh, the year. And now, uh, one of the things that was so dominant uh, issues that came from our students were the issue of forgiveness. Uh, forgiveness have a, a kind of an impact on our mental health. I'm not going to explain today what mental health is, but I would like to get into what is forgiveness. Forgiveness, uh, friends, colleagues, uh, students, is that uh, it's a deliberate decision that one does to release, uh, to release uh, what we call resentment and bitterness. Resentment. It is when one gets uh, being mistreated uh, by a person or by their group and you experience some negative feelings as a result of that ill treatment. And bitterness, it is a state of, you get in the emotional state where the other one makes you to feel low than how you value yourself and you can't do anything about it. There are two types of uh, forgiveness. We've got about two and uh, that I wanna talk to you about. The decisional uh, forgiveness as well as the emotional uh, forgiveness. The decisional forgiveness, it is when a person or a student or anyone is a making a deliberate decision to abandon or to stop the anger, the resentment, or the bitterness why you do it for yourself two you get what you call the emotional forgiveness where it is you are replacing the negative emotions with the positive one but also it is part of you making a decision you must also remember that when we talk of forgiveness we are talking about not to help their other person you are helping yourself you're helping yourself in the sense that when you are trying to want another person to understand the situation so that you get to understand each other's state of health you talk of reconciliation but you also get to a point where the other other person doesn't uh, actually understand why you are feeling like this and that that person doesn't even care how you feel and that's not a reconciliation but forgiveness goes beyond that even if the person doesn't actually understand the state of my mind as a result of her act you choose to release that resentment and bitterness so i would also want to say maybe one needs to start to think that Forgiveness, it is not about the other person. Forgiveness, it is about yourself to heal uh, on the hurt that was caused by the person or a group of person. Number two, it is also important to take note that one needs to make a decision to say, I am committing myself, I am not gonna go back to this person or to this group or you'll make a low contact with that person or that group. Why? Because you are actually dealing with yourself. We know that research is telling us the more you're becoming angry and the more it's not going to improve your mental status. So you get stress, you get anxiety, you get depression. Most of the uh, mental illnesses, you will notice somehow there's grudge involved, there's unforgiveness involved, there's self-forgiveness, unself-forgiveness involved. Hence, we're saying, students, as we are moving to the new year of 2023, we are saying as Student Counseling Eastern Cape, try, even if it is not easy, 
to forgive for the sake of your mental health. Forgive and move on and try another route of life. Thank you so much. We, we can't wait to see you in our offices, online and face to face. Thank you so much, Student Counseling, Eastern Cape. We're moving. Good. Thanks.